गुड इवनिंग ऑल गुड इवनिंग सर सो हैव यू अटेम्प्टेड द टुडेस एग्जाम यस सर व्हाट अबाउट यू अध्यक्षा यस सर ओके वेरी गुड सो वी वर गोइंग विथ इन इक्वालिटीज हमें करेक्ट इन इक्वालिटीज स्टार्टेड विद इन इक्वालिटीज एंड वी सॉल्व कपल ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इन इक्वालिटीज एंड ग्राफ्स so today let's see important few more important things it's a very small topic let's not take much time for finishing this topic okay okay chalo yes so let's go with another question let's go with the questions Uh, can you see the screen Can you see the screen or not? Yes, sir. Yes. So, next question: x greater than two or x less than five? Represent on graphical, I mean graph line, real line. How I represent this on real line? Look at this here. Minus infinity plus infinity. We have two and five. X greater than two. X greater than two is nothing but this one. So I am not making notch here. If I make notch like that, which is nothing but two is not included here. Look at this here. Ah, huh. I am I am making the notch. Why? Because two is not included, right? Two is not included. I am sorry. Two is not included here. He has greater than. He has given greater than symbol. Not greater than or equal to, so you cannot include two. X greater than two. X less than five. X less than five. Look at this. X less than five is going to be what? This one. So I'm making notch here. X less than five. Clear? So what I need here? What I need here? R. R is nothing but what? Union. I need to merge. I need to combine all this. Whatever the area you have here. I need to write everything here. What is the solution that is going to be? What is the solution that is going to be? Tell me. X belongs to what? X belongs to minus infinite to two. Two I am not including here. Two we are not including. So open bracket. Okay. Union. Union. Again, two to infinite. So can I write simply? Can I simply write minus infinity to plus infinity? Everything we are getting included, right? So R, you can simply say X belongs to capital R. X belongs to capital R. This is also correct here. Any doubts? Any doubts? Isn't it understood, children? Any doubts here? Yes, sir. Next. Okay. X greater than two and X less than six and X greater than four. So how do I do this? Make it fast. Everyone solve this question.
make it fast let's see who is going to give the first answer What is the answer? Very simple. Look at this. Why you are struggling to solve this? What is the problem, Tanish? Tanish, what is the problem? Tanish, what is the problem? I think so. Why is there any issue? in terms of telling the answer in terms of solving the question so how to solve this x greater than 2 x greater than 2 is nothing but this is my x greater than 2 okay x greater than 2 x less than 6 x greater than 2 so 2 is not included here so notch x less than 6 is nothing but because is here x less than 6 is nothing but this is what i am going to write here Okay, making notch again. X greater than four. X greater than four. X greater than four. This one again. This one. So making notch. Now tell me, I need and here. And what is the common solution here? Tell me, what is the common thing? What is the common for everyone? This is the common region, isn't it? Common and is nothing but intersection. I need to write intersection part. Solution region. I mean, common solution region of all these inequalities. What is that? Tell me, Adesha. What is that? What is the common region we have here? Hello, Adesha. Are you here? What is the common region we have here? No, I can't hear you, Adesha. Look at this here. This is the common region which I have. This one. This is that you know the region which I shaded. That is the region which is common to all the given inequalities, isn't it? Look at this four to six. So x belongs to four to six. Ha. Huh. So. Four. I mean, open bracket or close bracket. I'm not including, right? So open bracket for everything. So four to six. This sir. Is, yes. Sir, am I audible now? Yes. This is what you can solve the basic inequalities. Uh, this is how you can represent. Next, look at this here. Next, uh, let me tell you one uh, one important. Method here, wavy cow method. Wavy cow method. Basically, wavy cow method is nothing but what? First of all, we have a you know steps to follow. Steps to follow. Already we learned this method in functions lesson. We learned in functions, isn't it, Anjali? I think Anjali, you are aware of that. Anjali, why are you late? Anjali, Daria, why are you late? Anjali, Daria, you guys were late.
हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल टू यू पीपल यस सर आई एम आस्किंग व्हाई यू गाइस आर लेट even i'm asking you a question if you don't respond uh, i don't understand what to do in that moment tell me dhairya why are late anjali why are late Anjali, are you here or not? Can you? Am I audible to you all? Anjali, Dhairya. Your voice is very low. One sec, I'll check my connection. Masking. Why are you late? Dhairya, why are you late? Sir, I was completing practice test. Okay. No problem. Look at your steps to follow baby commuter. First of all, you need to check. First of all, you need to check. First step. We have four steps, beta. Those four steps are very very important to follow uh, baby commuter. Okay. Look at this. First, check the coefficient of x in all factors coefficient of x and you say that check the coefficient of x it must be positive it must be positive if it is not positive if it is not positive or is it if it is negative then make it positive understood my point if the coefficient of x is not positive make it positive how can we make it positive i will solve the questions okay second point second point put find the critical points critical points third one put positives and plus sign on extreme right and and then change the sign alternately alternately change the sign alternately next fourth point now mark the intervals and corresponding values values of x according to the question these are four 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 points are very important let's let me tell you one by one how important this wavy curve method to solve you know basic inequalities okay guys this wavy curve method we can use for all type of inequalities look at this here this all type of inequalities could be less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to. for all inequalities same process we need to follow okay first of first of all let me tell you the basic concept Look at this. The basic question we will solve. 
I'll come to you. Solve x minus one, x plus two, three x minus five, less than zero. Okay. So here, look at this here. This is the big inequality I have. So if I multiply, if I solve, so it takes so much of time. How can I solve this? For that, we have a simple shortcut, beta. That is what the wavy curve method. So look at this here. Whether coefficient of x, what is the coefficient of x here? What is the coefficient of x here? What is the coefficient of x here? Everywhere coefficient of x is positive, positive, positive. That is what my first step. Coefficient of x is positive everywhere. Next. Find the critical point. What is the critical point? Is nothing but here finding the x values of this individual term. Critical point is nothing but the point which makes the particular term as zero. Look at this here. Critical point is nothing but what? First of all, critical point. What is the critical point here? X minus one is equal to zero. X is equal to one. X is equal to one is a critical point of this term. Okay, which is nothing but finding a root. X is equal to X plus two is equal to zero, which is nothing but x is equal to minus two. If three x minus five is equal to zero, then x is equal to what? Five by two. Five by three. All right. So I'll be plotting all these points on the number line like this, minus infinite to plus infinite. Okay. This is my second step to do. What is the first step? Checking the coefficient of x. Uh, so that is the first step. What is the second step? Find the critical points. I found that very simple. Next, now look at this here. Now look at this here. What I have to do? Third step. Third step from the extreme right hand side, right to left. I need to keep plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus symbols. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus symbols. Okay, people, understood or not? Yes. Next, what I need here? Less than zero. Less than zero. I need. Less than nothing but minus only, right? We need to select this minus. Understood? Now what is my solution set is going to be minus infinite to minus two. Minus infinite is always open bracket. Minus two open bracket or close bracket. Minus two open bracket or close bracket. Can we include minus two? We cannot include. Why? Because look at this here. If I include minus two, everything becomes zero. So zero can't be less than zero. So we can't include that. Minus two can't be included. Union. Now union. One to five by three, five by three union. One to five by three. This is my x answer. X is the answer. Do you want me to repeat this again? Do you want me to repeat this again? Can anyone not? Yes, sir. Me? Clear? Any doubts? Do you want me to explain once more? Yes, sir. Yes. Look at this here. First, what was my first step? Coefficient of x is positive. First step. What is my first step? Sorry, there. One second. Coefficient of x is positive. Check everywhere positive, positive, positive. Everywhere positive. Perfect. Second step is what? Finding critical points. Here, critical point of this term is x is equal to one. X is equal to minus two. X is equal to five by five by three. Five by three. Very good. So I just plotted those on a uh, real number line. Perfect. Next, next, I need to put a sign alternately plus minus plus minus from the right to left. I need to put from right to left. I need to put plus minus plus minus plus minus. Sir, how did you are writing plus minus plus minus blindly? How you are writing plus minus plus minus plus minus from right to left? How you are writing plus minus plus minus plus minus right to left? I'll explain you. I'll explain you. Look at this. I wrote plus minus plus minus plus minus right to left. Next, I need less than equal to zero, right? Less than equal to zero. Less than equal to zero is nothing but what? Negative. Wherever the negative symbols you have, you need to select that. I need to talk about only these intervals. I need to talk about only these intervals. Any doubts? No, sir. Perfect. So now minus infinite to minus two, I wrote here. Then one to five by three, I wrote here. While putting the brackets, be careful. While putting the brackets, you have to be very, very careful. 
see if i why i'm not including open um, close brackets here why because you don't have you know stack inequality here we this is a strict inequality i told yesterday beta we have less than equal to zero if i have less than r equal to zero i would have kept here put close bracket something like this getting my point hope it is clear hope it is clear i just told you four points ha huh. sir why you are writing plus minus plus minus plus minus from right to left what is the story behind that better let me tell you one thing ha huh. look at this here look at this here anything you take like you know let me take you a small question here x minus 1 into x minus 2 less than 0 okay this is a question this is a question which we have perfect okay correct so let us write first uh, one here why because let us talk about this term first then we'll talk about this term listen to me carefully everyone let's talk about x minus 1 if i represent x minus 1 look at this here x minus 1 if i this is my x one x minus 1 term if i substitute any value which is left hand side of 1 in this expression what it gives you substitute any value which is less than 1 what happens negative or not it gives you negative or not beta you let x minus 1 have beta here let's say 0.5 put 0.5 Put x is equal to zero point five. So what happens? Zero point five minus one it gives you minus zero point five, which is negative or not? So any value which I substitute lesser than one, I am getting negative here. Perfect. Negative I am getting here. Perfect. If I substitute any value which is greater than one, put x is equal to one point five. So what happens? One point five minus zero point five. Isn't it positive? I am getting which is positive. So any value if you substitute greater than one, it is be positive, of course. Ha. Next, this is this is x minus one terms. Next, x minus two terms. Let's talk about x minus two terms. Okay, less than two. Any value substitute in this, it will be minus. Greater than two. Any value substitute will be plus. Any doubts? Any doubts here? Yes, sir. Hmm. Next, combinedly, combinedly, I let me plot on the number line both. Look at this here. Let me plot on the number line. What are the critical points I have here? X is equal to one here. X is equal to two here. Okay. In fact, minus infinity to plus infinity. Need not to write minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. Let me plot here. Very simple. They got a one here. If you substitute, this is x minus one, right? This is x minus one. And x minus two, both the terms are given. So, what we got here? What we got here? Tell me. Less than one, it was negative. Greater than one, it was positive. Greater than two, also positive, of course. Ha. For x minus two, if I substitute any value which is less than one, it will be negative. Greater than one, if I substitute any value, still negative. Guys, any value, if I substitute any value greater than one, still negative or not? Understood, beta. How I wrote negative here? Are you guys able to understand how I wrote this negative symbol here? One I have. If I substitute any value which is right hand side, it gives me positive. It gives me still negative or not? Yes. Yes. So that's how I wrote negative. Next, look at this here. Huh. Now, any value greater than two, of course positive. So multiply this now. Minus into minus how much? Asa plus into plus plus minus into plus minus minus into minus plus. So you take hundreds of terms like that. You'll be getting, you no, know, you'll be getting right to the plus minus plus minus plus minus and so on. It repeats like that. That is the story behind getting plus minus plus minus plus. Understood or not, children? Any doubts here till this? Till this, any doubts? No doubt, sir. Is it clear? That is how I wrote plus minus plus minus plus minus from right to left. That is not required for us. So whenever you have, look at it here. Let me tell you one short trick here. Whenever you have powers, what is the power of this term? One. What is the power of this term? One. What is the power of this? One. Whenever the power is odd like this, whenever you have odd power, odd odd power, one, three, five, seven, and so on. Whenever you have something like this, your 
you have to write you have to assign plus minus plus minus plus minus from the right to left clear understood my point understood or not children yes. this is how i need to assign whenever you have odd powers when we have even powers that is a different story uh, you know all same symbols will come when you have even powers when you have odd and even both combinedly what should be done for that i'll tell you we'll solve the question further so that you'll understand in a much better way so first of all let us try to solve questions based on odd powers so that you understand in a much better way then we'll go for even powers as well okay okay people yes next solve for x solve for x less than 0 okay so this is what i have see guys whenever you have something like this so don't take this and you know multiply through the right hand side so i'll do like this x minus 1 into x minus 2 this into 0 uh, x plus 1 into 0 it becomes 0 so i'll write like this guys this is the wrong way of doing please don't do this why it is wrong here why shouldn't we like why shouldn't we do like that don't do like this why because why because we do not know whether the given denominator is a positive or negative we don't know okay we don't know whether it is a positive or negative so for that what i do here is for that what i do here is i'll tell you the trick here first of all you just multiply with the denominator and divide with the denominator what is the denominator here x plus 1 i'm multiplying and dividing with the same term Multiply and divide with the same term, beta. So what happens now? Look at this. Less than zero, in fact. So x minus one. Sorry, here x minus. X plus one all square. Okay. This is what I have. This is what I get. Isn't it any doubts till this? Any doubts? So now look at this here. Now the denominator becomes what? Always positive or not? Now peacefully we can calculate that now. Peacefully we can calculate that now. We just forget about the denominator now. You just forget about the denominator. We made it as positive. How it is positive now? Tell me. X plus one. Whole square, whatever the value you substitute, beta, it always gives you positive only. Why? Because whatever the value you substitute, whatever the value you substitute here, it always gives you positive only. Whatever the x value you substitute, it could be negative value, it could be positive value, it could be any value. Substitute here. Why? Because x plus one whole square have even power. We have even power. It makes always positive. Hope it is clear. So now. Now what I do here is I'll simply same I'll follow the uh, wavy cometer which we did here. So first of all look at this what I do here. Check coefficient of x are positive or not positive positive positive. Fine first step done. What is the second step? Writing critical points. What is that? One two uh, sorry minus one one minus one one two. Okay these are my critical points. These are my critical points. Clear any doubts? Any doubts here? Okay. Yes, perfect. Next, what I have to do, beta? It is all odd powers. Powers of these terms here. What? Look at this here. Powers of the terms. One, one, one. Everywhere one only. So what I have to do? Plus, minus, plus, minus. It is really very helpful for solving domain and range questions as well, children. Kindly, kindly do follow this. Kindly do listen the class carefully. Okay. This is what I got here. So next, what I do, beta? Here. I need less than zero. Less than zero means I need minus region here. Okay. So what is the solution that is going to be now? X belongs to there. Four x belongs to is what? Minus infinity always open bracket. Minus one. Minus one close bracket. Yeah, open bracket. Tell me. Minus one open bracket. Yeah, close bracket. It is open bracket only. Why? Because you know he has given less than equal to zero here. Not less than or equal to. You can't include that. Okay. Okay. Next union one two two. Clear. This is my 
आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी एनी डाउट बेटा हियर एनी डाउट Any doubts? Guys, any doubts till this? No. Next, I'll give one more question. Less than or equal to zero. Solve for x. Everyone, solve for x. Quick, only one minute of time. Don't take much time. You have less than or equal to here. You can include something. Guys, done. Have you done or not? Tell me. It's a very simple question, yeah. Look at this here. What I have to do? I am just multiplying with x my x plus one in the numerator and denominator. Look at this. This is how it becomes, isn't it, people? Isn't it? Yes or no? I multiply and divide with x plus one, isn't it? Why yes, we multiply and divide? Tell me why? Because we do not know whether it is a positive or negative. Okay, so you can't take to the right hand side, and you know you can't take this as and multiply. And you can't take that to the right hand side and multiply with a zero. Okay, don't do that. We never know it is positive or negative. Okay, so now what I do here is I'll simply look at this now. So denominator is a tension free now. So no tension. It's always positive. Just leave about that. It is just leave about the denominator way because it is always positive. Okay, ah, yes, perfect. Next, look at this here minus infinite to plus infinite. Here, uh, what are the critical points? Minus one, one, two. Okay, okay, perfect. All powers are odd or not? Look at this. All powers are odd. Okay, so odd powers we are uh, having. So plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. We are assigning the values. I mean signs. Okay. these are the signs which are, we are assigning from right to left okay now I have less than or equal to 0 which is nothing but i have to select less than negative region perfect so my solution is going to be among my solution is going to be between this minus okay so minus infinite to minus 1 open bracket or close bracket tell me now open bracket or close bracket tell me Guys, it is going to be open bracket or close bracket. Make it fast. Make it fast.
ओपन ब्रैकेट और क्लोज ब्रैकेट हेलो अरे बेटा इधर ओपन ब्रैकेट है क्लोज ब्रैकेट शुड आई कम शुड आई राइट ओपन और क्लोज ब्रैकेट टेल मी विच वन थिंक आर यू गाइस थिंकिंग हियर आई एम आस्किंग यू पीपल ओनली आर यू थिंकिंग और नॉट माइनस और प्लस गाइस आई हैव माइनस वन हियर शुड आई राइट ओपन ब्रैकेट और क्लोज ब्रैकेट अरे व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम आई डोंट नो बेटा इधर ओपन ब्रैकेट ओनली व्हाई बिकॉज लुक एट दिस हियर इफ आई इंक्लूड माइनस वन हियर बेटा लुक एट दिस इफ एक्स इज इक्वल माइनस वन व्हाट इट बिकम्स बेटा इट बिकम्स जीरो स्क्वायर इन द डिनोमिनेटर इट बिकम्स जीरो इन द डिनोमिनेटर डिनोमिनेटर कांट बी जीरो राइट डिनोमिनेटर कांट बी जीरो इफ डिनोमिनेटर इज जीरो फंक्शन बिकम्स अनडिफाइंड फंक्शन सो यू कैन नॉट इंक्लूड माइनस वन आई टोल्ड बेटा माय ओपन ब्रैकेट इज नथिंग बट नॉट इंक्लूडिंग क्लोज ब्रैकेट इज नथिंग बट इंक्लूड इज इट इट यस नेक्स्ट लुक एट दिस हियर यूनियन वन टू टू वन टू टू नेक्स्ट टेल मी फॉर वन एंड टू ओपन ब्रैकेट और क्लोज ब्रैकेट टेल मी नाउ वन एंड टू ओपन ब्रैकेट और क्लोज ब्रैकेट ओपन ब्रैकेट वही वही ओपन ब्रैकेट 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 बेटा क्लोज 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 इट 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 बी बी वेरी गुड लुक 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 एट 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 दिस दिस इट इट इज़ ओपन इज़ ओपन इज़ इज़ द द वैल्यूज एक्स इक्वल इफ़ आई 